our way to the creek, Picker Hollow, as Caitlin shovels her face full, to go try out the dredge for the year. I think we got all the kinks worked out. We're going to see if it works and see if we can find a little bit of gold. Got the dredge out, my banker. Caitlin over there, starting the dredge. I added this section right here, homemade extension with some uh, gold hog matting in it. But we're gonna start digging and See what gold we can find today. I got a pan right there of the top mat. Well, just under the punch plate, the miner's moss and bee matting for a little bit of test of what we've been doing. Caitlin's still doing the dredge. Mr. Caden here is starting to do some high banking. High banker back here running. We'll do this test pen and see what we got. that all through the sluice and we'll do a clean out real quick. Haha. Uh -huh. like my hair? She didn't even hair. brush it today. I did too. <laughs> they got wind. People trying to sneak up on us. Get them rocks out of there, it's causing all that splashing. There we go. My hand's pink. Yeah, it's not that bad, you pussy. You wanna go shut the pump off? I'm not really seeing much material. Cleaning out pretty good. But we'll get it cleaned out and show you guys what, what we got. Alright, well, we did our clean out. We're back up and running. Caden's shoveling some dirt in. Everything seems to be flowing quite well. We have not done a clean out on the mats. Uh, and with this hog mat, I found that you really don't need to clean it out I mean, when you're in doing a short run like we are. You know, we're probably only going to be here, you know, three and a half, four hours or so today. It's about a half a day. You only need to do one clean out in that amount of time. And we clean out under the punch plate up top here just to make sure we're still on the gold. And uh, yeah, I just keep running. I put a tub underneath. 
can fill it back in when we do our startups for whatever flushes out it goes right back into the sluice but enough hearing me talk of course sorry i guess right up here is where we're digging you can kind of see the line here but this is the gold we got from our first clean out doesn't look too bad So I'm going to get over here and I'm going to hop on that dredge and I'll do why these two are shoveling and suck up some of the loose stuff in here and they can shovel out the big rocks and we'll keep going and see what we get. Caden says he wants a mohawk. What no, what I'm should we get? Not. Should we give him a mohawk? I'll do a mohawk. Can you do a mohawk? I I did a lot of hair. Okay. I would cut my hair. Now I'll cut my great bow. You do a mohawk. No, a lot of clean hair. water going through that sluice, guys. Caitlin, Caitlin, what are you doing? Because there's not a lot of water. I said there's a lot of clean water going through that sluice. Perfect. You guys ain't shoveling fast enough. Uh, you guys are work. talking. We're here to work. He's a slave driver. Best way to own a mining company. Or run one, I guess. All right, well, we're done for the day. We're packing everything up. Caitlin's over there taking apart the hoses. Caitlin's waiting for her to finish with that hose so you can finish rolling stuff up. But this is the hole we dug. Goes right around here. Right about there. It's our pile of rock. I shoveled the tailings back through because there was a lot of clay through it. But just wait. But you can see the tailings pile here. It's pretty good size. But take a look at the mat here. You start rolling this up your bed, I don't really see anything down here, but I know up here we've seen one piece. I don't know if I can find it again now that there's no water in the sluice. Oh, there it is. Zoom in just a little bit. There you go, you see it? It's a pretty little piece, isn't it? Well, 
I'm gonna get all this cleaned out, show you guys what we got for under the punch plate in the first set of mat, and then in the extension that we added today. All right, well, I got the top mat cleaned out, well, under the punch plate. Let's see what we got there, not some bad color. So now it's time to clean out the front mat and see what we got in there. All right, got the first section of gold hog matting cleaned out right there. And the result for that is not too bad. See all that in there. So now it comes for the test. We're gonna clean out this down here and see if there's any gold down here and whether or not we should keep this extension that I made on there or not. All right, third mat is cleaned out, sitting there. Still have to rinse that out and see if there's any gold underneath all of the mats. So I'm sure there is. But this little bit right here is what we got in the third mat. So I think we'll keep it on there. But we're going to rinse out the rest of the sluice, finish getting everything packed up, and then I'll show you guys what we got for a total of everything. Here's the little bit that we got. Okay, there we go. Four nice little pieces. And that's what was in the bottom of the sluice under all the mats. Alright guys, we're all cleaned up. Just have the high banker right here. Carry over to the truck. Take you over here one last time. We did this area right here today. That pile of rock. You somewhat see the tailings pile there. But I'll shake his pan back here and show you guys what we got for the day. Look at all that beautiful shiny. Beautiful, huh?